Hi everyone, welcome along to another video. Now today we have a request for Declan. Uh, thanks so much Declan for sending this in. This is The Thrill Is Gone by Kingfish. This is going to be two video lessons. This first one is all the licks that he plays in between his singing and the second one is going to be the solo itself. So let's get on with it. I'll let Kingfish play the first lick and then I'll repeat it and break it down for you. So this one, quite an easy one, you're just bending up nine on the G, a whole step. Kill with your right hand. Let down, play nine again. And then play seven on the G and slide off. So this lick uh, is over E minor and you're just sliding up to the tenth fret on the B. Come back to the eighth fret with your first finger. Slide back to the seventh fret and pick that eighth fret on the B. So this one we've got kind of position two. So you're bending up this twelfth fret on high E. Kill it again with your right hand. Pick it and let down. Pull off to 10, and then 12 on the B. Then we have this. This one is a 7 on the high E. Pull 10 off to 7 on the B. Bend up 9 on the G. Let down. Pull off to 7, and finally finish on 9 on the G again. So... Alright, so this one, we're bending up a, uh, sorry, 10 on the B. This move, which is 7 on the high E, 10 pull off to 7 on the B. Then you're bending up 9 on the G, bend up, let down, pull off to 7. And then finally 9 pull off to 7 on the D, back to 9. So this one, 7 to 10 on the B string, 7 on the high E. And then slide from 10 to 12 on the high E. Alright, 12 to 10 that is on the high E. And then 12 to 10 on the B string. And then 12 on the B, 10 on the B, back to 12 on the B. So this one, 7 to 9, hammer on on the G string, 7 on the B, and then 10 on the B, and pull off that 10 to 7. 9 on the G, 7 on the B, and then 7 on the G, 9 here on the D. So this one here, we're going from position one really to position five in the pentagon scale. So slide from nine to seven on D. And then a hammer on pull off from seven to nine. And with that pull off, you're hammering on to nine. Pull off to seven, slide back to five. That last bit is seven on the low E, five on the low E, and then the trill from five to seven. All right, so let's take cool one. Start on 12 on the high E. So bend it up, let down, pull off the top. Ta 
and then bend that 12 up again. And then to 10. But when you go to 10, what you're going to do, you're going to catch this B string uh, here, also on the 10th fret, and you get this kind of Stevie Ray Vaughan kind of sound. So. And then 10 on the high E to 12 on the B, all right? I didn't get that one that far. And then this licker at the end here, 7 on the high E. Pull off 10 to 7 on the B. 9 to 7 on the G. And then 9 to 7 on the D and finish on 9 on the A. So this one, we're just bending up 10 on the B and then kind of kill it. Very similar lick as before, 7 on the high E, 10 pull off the 7 and then 9 on the G. Bend up that 9, let down to 9, pull off the 7 and then play that 9 on the D where you stop. So this is a great uh, lick, this one. So you're starting 7 to 10 on the B, 7 on the high E. Slide up from 10 to 12 on the high E and stop. And then we do this. This is 10 on the high E, 12 on the B, pull off to 10, pull off to 7. Sorry, that 12 to 10 is just a pick. Side 10, back to 7. And then we have... So this is 10, 9 and 7 on the G. All right, let me play that again. And then you're going to pull 10 off the 9, off the 7. Okay, and then 9 on the D, 9 on the A. And then 9 on the G, 7 here on the B. And then curl that 7 on the G. So far we've got this. And then we're going to go down kind of the blues scale. So this is 9 to 7 on the D. And then down the blues scale, 9, 8, 7 on the A string and then slide back to five. So far we've got this. All right. And then seven uh, here on the E, and then to seven on the A, and then slide from five to seven here. So. That's the last phrase, right? Seven on the low E, seven on the A, back to seven on the uh, E there, and then slide from five there to seven. This one's a good one. You're going to bend up 10 on the B, a whole step. And then 7 on the high E, uh, 10 to 7 on the B. And then bend 9 on the G, up a whole step. Go back to 7 on the B, 10 on the high E. And then bend up that 10 again. And then this move again, when we have 7 on the high E, pull 10 off to 7 on the B. 
And then we have this little kind of move here where you're taking that ninth fret on the G, play that note, move it up to 10, back to nine, and then pull off the seven and finish on the uh, nine, all right? This one is a classic bruise lick. So you're playing seven here on the B, bend 10 up, seven on the high E, and then a quick pick from 10 to seven on the B. Great one, so nine on the uh, A string to seven on the D, and then nine on the D, nine on the A again, back to seven on the D, back to nine here on the A, and then a hammer on, kind of a slow one, from seven on the A to eight, and then that on the A and that, that seven ring. Go back to five on the A and then finish on seven here on the uh, E string. This one is where you're bending 10 on the B and then kill it with your hand and come back to seven here on the B all right. and bend up the 10 again. So this I look here, it's a cool one. So we're starting on 12 on a high E. Bend up, let down, re-pick. Last two notes are 10 on the high E here and 12 on the B. Then we have this phrase. So 12 on the B, nine on the high E, pull off uh, here. 10 to 9 on the high E, 10 on the B, 9 here on the G. Slide back to 7 on the G, so so far. Then 9 on the G, and then climb up on the B string, 7, 8, 10, all right, so, so far. All right, so, so far. When you get to there, you're gonna slide from nine to 11 on the G string. And then nine on the G, seven on the G, six on the G. And then climb up seven to nine on the G. then six and then seven to nine on the D string so really cool one this seven to nine on the B seven on the high E. Then you're gonna bend this nine on the um, high E up slowly to 10. And then this is the crucial part. Bend that nine up again, kill it with your hand, let down and kill it with your hand. And then pull off to the seventh fret of the high E. And then that seven on the high E, pull off 10 to seven on the B. And then nine here on the G. Seven on the B, pull off 10 again to seven. Nine on the G. Seven on the 
7 on the B, a little curl with, and kill it with your hand on 7 on the G, and come to a stop on 9 on the D. So this last lick um, here that he plays, this is 12 on the high E, 10 on the high E, slide 8 to 9 on the, on the high E. And then that move again where we've got 10 here on the B and then 9 on the G. And then the last thing you're going to do is pull off um, 12 to 11 on the D string. So this one, very similar to the first one, bend up that 9 on G, kill it with your right hand, let down to 9, and then 7 on the G, 9 here on the D, and then uh, 9 here on the um, G, and then finally that 9 on the, uh, on the D. Okay, so quite a quirky one here. You're going to bend up this 12th on the high E. Let down, all right, uh, slowly to that 12. And then hammer on 10 to 12. Then do the same thing again, 10 to, to the 12 on high E. And then bend up that B, your half step. And then that 10 to 12 again. Then we have this. So this is um, pulled 12 uh, off to 10 off the 9 on the high E. And do that two times. And then go to the B string, do the same thing. But this time, just once 12. 10, 9. And then stop on the B. And then the last thing you're going to do is there's 9 on the B, pull. All right, and now pull off 11 on the G to 10 off the 9. Slide back to 7 and then to nine, all right, so that last phrase. So this one, on the 10, on the B, three times. And then pull off 7 to 5 on the B string. Twice. And then this fourth fret on the G here. And then this is uh, 7 on the, on the D string. Back to 4 here on the G. And then 7 to 4 on the G. There we go. That's a lot of licks to go through. Some really cool ones uh, in this. If you like blues licks, then Kingfish in your man uh, is your man. You know he's got some really good phrasing ideas there. So hope you had fun with that lesson. Rip off those licks, and we'll have a look at the solo next. So stay tuned. Remember to subscribe if you can. See you in the next video.